So before we continue with the plate, we want to talk some more about radians. Remember the radian, definition of a radian is the measure of an angle in which the length of the radius is equal to the length of the arc. So we're looking for angle measure, and we take the length of a radius in a circle, so I'm highlighting that for you. And notice this, these are concentric circles, they share a center, so we're going to talk about why we care about that later on. Um, and there's an arc. So in that angle that I just highlighted for you, it's the same angle whether I look at the little inside circle, the middle circle, or the outside circle. The angle measures the same and it's one radian because the measure of each radius of each circle is equal to the measure of the arc. Whether each radius and arc is one radian or one unit, three units, or four units. When the measure of the radius is the same as the measure of the arc, the measure of your angle is one radian. Now, most of the time in our trig, we'll have a pi attached to our radian measure, like 180 degrees is pi radians. But one radian is approximately 57 degrees, and you don't have to be on a unit circle. So here what I'm doing is taking a red Sharpie, and I'm doing something a little different. I want to measure that next angle. I have a radius of 1 and an arc of 2. Same angle. I have a radius of 3 and an arc of 6, or two sets of 3. Same angle. And I have a radius of 4 and an arc of 8, which is two sets of 4. So what do you suppose the measure of that angle is in radians? We have a formula that says the measure of any angle is equal to the arc length over the radius length, or S over R. So think about that. In each of these angles, the arc length is twice as big as the radius length. There are two radius lengths for each arc length, which means the measure of that angle is two radians. And I want to show you one more example where I have that same radius of 1, but then I go three radiuses around, so the arc length is 3. Or I have the radius length of 3, and I go three radius lengths around, so the arc length is 9. Similarly, I have a radius length of 4, and I go around the circle three radius lengths of 12. So think about how many radius lengths were in the arc. That means that that angle measures three radians. Math is consistent. So the formula you need to know is theta equals s over r. Theta is just a Greek letter for an angle name. Don't panic about that little O looking thing. It means the central angle of a circle measured in radians. We give the Greeks credit for coming up with all this stuff. Theta is just a Greek letter. S represents our arc length and R represents our radius length. Theta equals arc over radius. Theta equals S over R. Study it, know it, be prepared to use it. That's it. Have a great night.